So we're here with uh, City Commissioner Jim Hathaway at the uh, ribbon cutting today for the New Smyrna Beach Visitor Center. So, uh, Jim, what do you think of the uh, festivities today? I think it's great. They have wonderful New Smyrna Beach. I think it's great for Southeast Volusia. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, you're running for, uh, for, for County Council now, uh, District 3, representing Greater Port Orange, Greater New Smyrna Beach. Um, how important do you think it is to maintain tourism dollars in Southeast Volusia as opposed to getting sucked into the Ocean Center? Well, I think it's absolutely important that we maintain our base here in New Smyrna Beach, Edgewater, Port Orange, uh, because the Ocean Center, even though they may have some big uh, sh venues, big shows going on up there, sometimes it really doesn't impact New Smyrna Beach. We don't get an awful lot of the uh, influx of those people coming in here. So it's, we're really happy to have the Southeast Volusia Advertising Authority here in New Smyrna Beach, and we're particularly in, important that they're focusing right here on New Smyrna Beach. Well, when you have something like the Shriners, for example, that's like once in a decade or once every 20 years, the spillover here would be natural, correct? Oh, absolutely. When you have 20,000 people plus coming into an area, you, have, you would absolutely have to have some of it trickle down to our area, and, and we'd love to have that. But for, for your everyday event that comes to, to the, the Ocean Center, uh, the impact probably isn't that great for our area. And, you know, a lot of conventioneers and their families, um, I would think that New Smyrna Beach's appeal, well, you tell me, the family issue. Oh, it's absolutely. People laugh about the idea of the charm, if you will. Right. But the charm is the character of New Smyrna Beach. It's not just the old buildings, it's not just the old quaint uh, businesses that you see on Flag or Avenue or Canal Street. It is a people. We go up, we're happy, we're, we're smiling, we'll pat you on the back, we'll shake your hand, we'll talk to you, we'll say hello, we'll say goodbye. We're not uh, in and to ourselves. Nowadays, it seems like there's this, this need, this want of centralizing government where you know they know best so to speak and of course the American music fiasco music, American music festival fiasco that kind of changed things didn't it absolutely I think that the government that's closest to the people governs best I've always believed that I believe municipal government is a great government I think it, it answers the people's questions it represents them the best there's even some questions about the uh, the sanctity of the salary uh, here because it's it's a, it's a few thousand more than what uh, another person was getting that a guy canned. Um, it, it seems like there's all this uh, want to control. Uh, how would you change that? Well, I, I, I believe personally that you need to work with the communities themselves as, as a, a representative for Volusia County. I intend on making sure that I have weekly contact with each city to make sure I understand what their issues are, how they would like me to vote. Obviously, we can't agree on every issue for every community, but we can certainly have a consensus on where they want me to place my vote on a regular basis at the county level. Now you doggedly track the Hampton Inn, for example, in, in New Smyrna Beach, the new hotel that's coming in. You are very critical about some of the steps along the way with CRA spending and, you know, apparently from what uh, David Swenter, the developer, said, that helped guide them in terms of coming up with something that was an even better product. Would that be your approach at the county council level? Or would you be that sort of stick in the mud kind of on, you know, would you be questioning spending issues? And Well, I don't like to call it a stick in the mud. I think it's what the people want me to do. They want me to ask the tough questions. They want me to ask these questions that aren't being asked by staff. Maybe some of these questions were asked behind the scenes, and maybe the elected officials did know the answer. The problem is the citizenry did not hear those questions, and they certainly didn't hear those answers. Well, I don't think the people are saying you're a stick in the mud, but, you know, let's be real about this. And politics, everybody wants, you know, there's this idea of, hey, let's go in this direction, and sometimes I guess you go against the grain. You are a fiscal conservative, so. Well, I've always tried to be. I mean, I know people laugh at that. Some people laugh at that saying they don't believe it, but uh, just look at our, my record. Look at the, the, the tax level in New Smyrna Beach. Look at how we have, our values have grown. There's a reason for that. 